What's up guys, this is Speco and today I got you some uh, domination on Vacant and uh, this is going to be uh, really for me kind of a try hard because uh, these guys were really getting on my nerves and I wanted to win bad so that's why I decided to pull out the right shield to try to get B because it's the hardest to get and uh, like I said I'm dead on winning on this one I reset the secure meter for some reason I don't know just stupid but uh, sorry if my commentary is a little off feeling kinda bad today but other than that I'll try to do my best uh, like I said man this was uh, kind of a try hard for me and playing with sharp and no uh, if you don't know it already it's pretty much key to get uh, B on domination on uh, vacant uh, doesn't it, uh, you can say it doesn't really matter but at the same time it's kind of preference whether or not you like to be inside or outside I know some people like to be inside on vacant and some people like to be on the outside because you can spawn trap uh, from the outside but at the same time when you're the outside you can get hit by you can get hit by the air sport pretty bad so yeah it just comes down to situation but uh these guys, I don't know, I think this was a group that was talking a lot of crap, so I decided to pull out the, uh, the spas and, uh, just kind of do work and try to protect two points that we've got already. Um, getting kind of, I don't know, I was getting kind of burnt out on MW2. I uh, started doing the party night thing. That's, uh, that's helped out a lot. That's a lot of fun. Uh, Especially whenever we get a full ground war party, because uh, having randoms is just—it's just so painful sometimes. <laughs> that's uh, really, that's really the only way that I can describe it. It's just painful, and I need to stop doing. Whenever I do do the getting the full party, uh, I don't tend to mute everybody like I normally do yeah, on the other team, and uh, I get kind of. Every once in a while, I'll run across the wrong kind of person that gets me riled up pretty bad, and uh, I don't need to do that. So I went back to went back to muting everybody again because I can't I can't get pissed off at people over their internet. That's just stupid. That's the only way to put it. It's uh, just dumb. There's no point. Uh, I would advise you the same thing. If you're getting really pissed off at this game or any other game playing online and it's other people talking crap and stuff like that, just take out if mute them if you can and if it's one where you can't mute, just take a, take off your uh, headset or yeah, just do whatever you can cuz uh it's really dumb to to get pissed off at these people over the internet. And that's I don't know, that's kind of my my thing for the day. Um Feeling kind of bad. It's not like any kind of down in the dumps kind of thing. It's just I feel physically bad for some reason. I don't know why. I might be getting sick or or something. I just feel like crap. <laughs> and I'm just trying to get over it right now. Uh, I'm really, really anticipating. Not really anticipating. That's the wrong kind of word. Looking forward to anxious. Ready. I'm really, really, really anxious about something really good coming out sometime soon and that would be uh, Halo Reach I'm looking forward to that like really bad well I mean Halo Reach until Black Ops comes out and hopefully Black Ops is uh, has got some good balance to it that's the uh, major thing with these types of games is balance and it's, it's hard to it's a hard thing to do I can understand that's why I don't take it out on developers say oh my god infinity ward so garbage I don't do that man freaking if you can do better I think if you can do better you you can talk crap but if you can't uh, no that's my whole thing on it so uh, it's people that complain about things that they know nothing about that gets on my nerves, but at the same time, you can complain if you want to, but I don't think, it, uh, I know most people don't want to hear it, but get into it, I, I, I was going to, I know there's a lot of people that, uh, I, well not a lot of people, there's a bunch of people that were like, oh my god, I wish I could do video games for a living, um, well, and 
then I know a couple people that talk to me about and ask me about game testing. Somebody even asked me if I'm a game tester. No, I'm not a game tester. Uh, that's because I don't live anywhere near a developer. Now, also, if you are looking into game testing and you're thinking, oh, I can do it from home kind of thing, don't do that. Uh, it's nine times out of ten, those uh, are going to be scams because they're, if anything asks you to give them money before they start paying you, then it's a scam. That's a dead giveaway. Because I know uh, it'd be, it, everybody thinks, wow, I can just play video games and make money off of it. Well, that's not the case. Of course, if you, you, it's not real, <laughs> this is just a scam. Because no, none of the games that y'all are thinking about that you would want to play and do uh, game testing on, they're not going to hire people over the internet. They're going to have they're going to bring in temporary they're going to bring in temporary employees of game testers and come into work every day and do it or part time or whatever and as a game tester pretty much you're you're not a you're not a QA guy you're not going to be saying well this party game should be like this I don't think it would be a lot more fun if you do this no that's not what you're going to be doing you're basically going to be going around and trying to find glitches uh, things that don't work right and how they should and also if you can't recreate whatever you found then there's no point in, in doing it in the first place I mean you might as well not even say anything um, there's a lot of things that go into uh, creating a video game like this so that's why I I don't. I try not to complain about the little, the little things, the few things that are bad. Um, but also, I mean, there's a big, long, drawn-out process with fix, fixing things. Uh, with these types of games, Activision, you have big, huge developers that have to go through a long. Uh, you have to go through a long process of getting patches out. Now, you can say, yeah, they'd, if more patches came out more often. Uh, for this, it'd, it'd be a lot better, but at the same time, you're, I mean, you're right, but at the same time, they gotta go through, they gotta jump through hoops just to get it, get it uh, loaded up, I mean, that's, that's just the sad issue of it, I mean, you get big, huge people like Activision that just, they do whatever the hell they want, but at the same time, they have to deal with, uh, they have to deal with going through the protocols and everything like that, and making sure they're not doing anything that's going to turn out just straight retarded, <laughs> and it's just going to bug out and make things worse. So yeah. Um, but as far as getting back into like the video game career thing, um, I personally am a programmer, but uh, for later on for my degree, I'm going for game design, and I intend on making video games. So that's what I will do. Um, hopefully I can end up in a good place right off the bat. I'm going to be doing some business application and stuff first, but after that I'm going to be I'm going to try to get my foot in the door with a good development company. Um, but yeah, that's some 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 of the personal things about me. Some people may want to know why I play video games so much and stuff like that. It's just because I intend on it being a big part of my life for a long time. All right, guys. Uh, this is getting pretty close to the end. Sorry if the uh, commentary was a little different today and you didn't like it. Uh, it's just just uh, just how I'm feeling today, so my bad. But uh, it's a sharp unit, a nice little triple off that Simtex. But uh, yeah, guys, uh, please rate, comment, subscribe. I'm sorry about the kind of laggy, laggy would that be a good word, laggy commentary, but uh. Alright guys, I will see you later.